Hi, my name is Josephine Wanja. I work in a flower farm in Kenya, and this is my story. I joined the flower farm 20 years ago. Things turned out to be tougher than I expected. The working conditions were terrible. Not to mention we worked for over 10 hours without getting any overtime. The last three years, things have gotten better for me and my colleagues. When He Was Women at Work campaign was introduced to the flower farm where we work, a campaign aimed to improve the labor conditions of hardworking women who are trying to earn a living in the horticulture supply chains of flowers and vegetables grown for export market. It didn't end there. The program aimed to protect us from sexual harassment and improve our health and safety measures at the workplace. We were all so excited when we heard about all this. Through the campaign, we got into leadership training. Here we learned how we could defend our rights. This gave us the confidence to air our grievances, whereas before we used to be intimidated with warning letters whenever we brought up an issue. Here we are now. I can see a promising future here, where women speak up and have decision-making power. Thank you, Hivos. Hi, my name is Robin Abuita, and I am a restaurant owner in Fort Porto, Uganda, and today I will be telling you my story. I have been operating the restaurant for over 10 years. However, I did not sell indigenous food until three years ago, when I incorporated the indigenous foods in my menu. This came about after I had engagements with the Hevos and IIED Food Change Lab. We got to hear about the Sustainable Diets for All, SD for All advocacy program that would use evidence including evidence generated by citizens to help low-income communities access to sustainable, diverse, and nutritious food. Local authorities would commit to supporting food vendors by allocating space and providing infrastructure services such as water and night lights. We as the food vendors would in return commit to improving food hygiene and comply with existing regulations. So what does this all mean for our future? The Uganda Food Change Lab and its convening parties have two tasks for the future. First is to undertake advocacy efforts to ensure that these commitments are at the center of the agenda of the institutions that meet them. And secondly, the lab will continue to ask the bigger questions broaden its coalition for change on the ground and facilitate new solutions that work for the region's food and farming. Thank you, Hivos. Hi, my name is Kefas Okaka. I am the CEO of Bricket Manufacturing Company, Biomaka, which was established in April of 2017. I am grateful that I was selected to join the Hivos Renewable Energy Advocacy Leadership Program. The program was impactful in developing my knowledge and skills necessary for identifying, mobilizing, and working with key stakeholders to advance renewable energy solutions. Through the program, I got the training that helped me understand that the success of renewable energy ideas lies in gaining the support of interested parties at the community and national level. It is through this training that I have mastered networking as a skill that has helped expand the reach and impact of the Bricket business. We are also empowering local communities by providing training to women, youth, and other groups interested in venturing into the briquettes industry. The future of renewable energy uptake is bright, but this depends on our ability to inform the masses that technologies in renewable energy exist and the myriad of benefits to be gained. Thank you, Hivos, for collaborating with Biomaka. Hi. My name is Salma Kundi and I am a miner from Northern Tanzania. Now currently, I am the Secretary General of the Tanzanian Women Miners Association or TAWOMA for short, which comprises of more than 3,000 women working across the mining sector. Haki Rasilimali has been keen on using advocacy and capacity building to execute community-led barazas that empower women on existing laws on access to information and transparency initiatives such as the Tanzania Extractives Industry Transparency Initiative or TEITI. 
Fast forward to 2020, and it's so inspiring to see that the direct interventions have pushed for integration of women into mining operations, which in turn has contributed to eliminating poverty, enabling better safety measures, and enhancing gender-led transparency in Tanzania's mining sector. Thank you, Hivos.